Hello all you zombies. Welcome back to the Jadecraft server. I'm your host, Antofi, and today we will be preparing for a journey. Oh, I wonder what that is. Looks like somewhere near the pros base. Oh, I may have to go check that out at some point. In the meantime, I need to prepare for a journey. So we need to get some bread, so full amount of bread. I need the usual things I take when I'm traveling. I need something for ocean travel. And I need slime, TNT, and sand. I'll probably pick up more sand than just that 13 on the way. I'm going to stick most of this into the chest as I won't need it for the actual trip. So this is going to be a quite an adventure. I've never actually done anything like this before and it should be a lot of fun. Okay, there's a workbench on the top of that pillar. I really wonder what that is. Ah well, have a look at it another time. I'll see you in a bit after I travel around 3,000 blocks that way towards the east and the rising sun. I'll see you soon. This is quite a mountain. I did not expect to find this, but it is quite a sight to behold. It must go up really high. Bit of a lava fall over there. Looks like it's on the edge of the ocean, which I was looking for. 
it is a lovely bit of terrain. Hey hey all you zombies! Well I've arrived at the final location after traversing quite a long way through desert, jungle, tiger and some woods. There was quite a mountain back there which I hope is still going to be on the footage but we'll see. I would love to go back and have a look at that mountain sometime in the future. Uh, but first, somewhere out there is my challenge. And what it is, is an ocean monument. What I plan to do is try and get sponge, if there is any, from the ocean monument without using milk or killing the guardians. Now, this is going to be quite hard because the mining fatigue will be in place. What I hope to do is go in there and actually clear out a space in the thing, put down a bed, make a save point down there so I can actually uh, work. And if I die, I'll be remain inside the monument. So before we go out there, I'm going to need to grab a few things, get some stuff out of the ender chest. Now, the reason for the slime blocks is that slime has a instant mine ability. That is, if you put it down, you'll, you can break it instantly, and that even works under the mining fatigue provided by the guardians. Also to help, I've got some TNT and sand. I picked up a little bit more sand while I was uh, on traversing on the way here and that I can use to actually break through any stone make it a little easier to move around I could even use it to kill the guardians but that is not the goal I will however be needing to use the TNT to break any sponge if I do find some sponge this is going to be quite hard to help me I've also got respiration 3 and aqua affinity on my helmet there's a bit of damage on there but I've worn this helmet for some time already and my boots has got depth strider 3 as well so I should be able to outrun the guardians quite well on my way in now I've got that let's just pick up the workbench and pull out my silky touch pick and pick up my ender chest I also picked up a killed a skeleton on the way through the jungle so I'll just chuck all those I don't think I'm gonna need the sticks but I'll carry them for now now the, it's just going night time not that that will make much difference so I'm just gonna have a quick sleep <laughs> and morning so let us get going now I've got the slime ready I also want to have signs ready because the signs are going to be important I've also got the uh, torches and a bucket actually I don't think I will need the signs I'll go with the bucket to breathe now let's grab a boat I did have to craft this boat just on the way here I broke all my boats at some point on the way over and I did have to craft some more now just somewhere out here is the ocean monument now I know the ocean monument is out here because I found it on the interactive map that is made from the server save files uh, there yes there it is uh, and some player had come from I believe he came from the south and went north along in a path here looking for something and went almost over the top of the monument okay we've got guardians already having an attack let's see where is this entrance I can't see oh, let's see oh and there comes the mining fatigue let's go down let's see Yes, I'm getting attacked already. Let's eat. There it is. Okay, let's eat while we're going down. Yeah. And we get in. And we'll block off the entrance. We'll block off here as well. Here. 
and that seems to be safe now what I'm going to do is I'm going oh there's a hole up here as well oh hang on sponge oh well that's good now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fill in all this area here break the blocks and get some air fill that back in let's put up a couple of torches here now fill that back in and continue making an air pocket of course I expect to lose quite a bit of sponge sorry slime blocks on this way And here we go, we're getting there. and here we go we have a room quite safe so we can put down a bed probably should have not waited for night because it's now daytime so okay well let's see here let's go up and actually try and see what's happening up here okay well not much sponge here looks like maybe one layer let's just put in a block in here so I can get a bit of a thing put up a torch fill in this area here too and another torch okay now what I need to do is I'm gonna to have to try and blow up this sponge so I can get it this is not going to be easy and it will probably actually blow a hole in the roof if anything goes wrong now I also expect a lot of damage from the sponge, so a lot from the TNT. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that there. I'm going to put down. Oh, this is why I needed the ender chest. I don't have a flint and steel. So let's see. I'll put the ender chest there. Get my flint and steel out. Now I've put down a block here because I want to support the TNT there. Now TNT in water like that will not actually do any damage. But if I place sand above it, when I light the TNT, the sand's going to drop and it's going to make that TNT uh, in a dry inside the sand, which is dry of course, and it will then explode. Now I'm going to be fairly close, so let's actually make sure I eat get a little breath of air and let's go and we have sponge we also have a bit more of a hole so let's actually fill in this hole here with whoop, more So we 
we're just going to continue on and try and collect sponge. Now, how much sponge do we get? We got two. Not very good. What I might do is I might actually make a bit of a platform this time for the TNT. Try and protect a bit of the water flow down the below. Actually, we could probably just stick it right there, but we'll put it here. We'll put the we can put away that pick put that there. and we don't seem to be needing a bucket so I'll put that away as well so and there's a bit more sponge a bit more other stuff as well I've got six now of course I'm probably losing quite a bit of sponge in this process but that's what you get and it does work so let's actually go up a bit put the TNT down another TNT down this is probably not going to do anything no. Oh, it did. It did indeed. That's good. Of course, I can't break that block. Let's just get a breath here. And it looks like there's only the one sponge left. So what I'll do is I'm going to actually put the TNT on top of the block there. Oh, that was silly because uh, at least you can break TNT straight away too. So I'll put that there. Put some sand on top. And grab that sponge. So, looks like we're going to be already a successful trip. Can we sleep? No, let's put the sponge away and a few other bits and pieces that we picked up. We seem to be doing okay here. Let's just go up and have a bit of a look see. Oh, this is a guardian. I don't think I want, as I said, I don't really want to attack a guardian. Not for this challenge. Now, another goal of this challenge is to actually try and get, get the gold. I don't really need it, but I want to try and get it. So let's just empty out this so I can get a, a good, a dry place again. Now I do have some signs. And while this ender chest is not something I'm going to be able to pick up, nor is this bed, I am able to stick things in it and get things out. So that's okay. Now let's see here. I'm going to need signs. And what I'll do is I'll stick a sponge here. And I'll put a sign on there. I'll take that torch away. Put a sign there. That sign's going to remain forever. I'll uh, shift and sign. Okay. Go away. Now, these layouts of the temples are pretty good. Now, the spun, the gold will be somewhere either that way or that way. Always will be. There's another one of those little guardians. And him. So, 
So, oh, oh, wow. We have got more sponge. Well, well, what do you know? Two sponge rooms. I have been to so many ocean monuments in the past where I've killed the guardians, not this challenge, where the sponge, there was no sponge rooms at all. So this is pretty good. It's a good bonus and I'm very pleased to find out about it. Let's just grab the bath here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put, I'm going to do it a little bit away from the sponge to try and minimize the damage that is going on against the sponge. So let's pick, try and pick up a bit more than drops than what is being done. Oh great. And I placed that sand wrong. Fair enough. I place sand there? What is that? Oh no. <laughs> yes, I'm not placing sand, I'm placing slime. Okay. Where can I run to? Okay. Get a breath. So what did that do? Oh I got rid of some of the sponge, but doesn't look like there's been any drops. Not good. Let's try a little bit here. It's actually like this from below. Any sponge this time? Oh, there's a couple. Away. These things can be very annoying. Oh, okay, I need to get some air. And heat. Well, let's actually put it up against the wall this time. So, oh, what's it? Where is he? No, okay. Let's stick this up against the wall. That way we blow a hole in the wall as well, uh, as we are trying to get the sponge. Well, that didn't make much of a hole. We have still got a big wall there. Didn't get much sponge either. This is not a great technique, but it does seem to be doing some. Of course I'm making a lot of damage. And it didn't get it. <sighs> okay. I'm going to get this bit of sponge. The trouble with this technique is it doesn't really allow you to blow a hole upward very well without uh, getting the TNT right up there. Oh, I misplaced the TNT, I think. And of course I can't get that. So I'll have to do it over here. And on top. Oh, stop shooting me. Get some air. Light it. Away we go. And we got the sponge. And we've got an opening to the outside world, which I'm just going to fill in. Let's go over to here. See now I can't place sand above there which is going to make things difficult. Let's see what's down there. Oh there's the thing. Of course there's a lot of guardians in there. Which is going to make things very difficult. Did 
can get the sponge. I've got a fair bit of sponge, but not a huge amount. And a little bit more. Misplaced block. Okay. Boink. Got a little damage that time. I'm not getting a lot of sponge using this technique. Though it does work. Let's go for the gold now. Now, the gold, like the sponge, can only be gotten by actually blowing it up. Actually, let's leave a torch there. Ah, and there's the gold. Actually, let's place it... No, we can't place it there. Okay, two gold blocks, three gold blocks were destroyed, but I didn't get any. Very wasteful. Let's actually try and uh, move it a little bit away, put it there. Do I get anything? No. eat again. So, oh, no, didn't get any gold. No gold. We're getting a lot of other things, but we're not getting the gold. Let's actually try this. What I'm going to do is try and alleviate the blast a little bit. But we're not getting there. Thirsty work, or hungry work, I should say. Still no gold. This is not getting very good. I'm killing quite a few guardians on the floor here, but I'm not getting the gold. Not good. Oh, misplace. Oh well. Ah, yes, 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 we have one gold block out of the eight. So, well, that's partial success. Not great, but partial. There might be another sponge room in here. However, I think that might call it. So I'm just going to get out my slime. I'm going to block this off. Do I, can I sleep now? No, I can't. So I'm going to call it there. So I'm going to say goodbye all you zombies. And thank you for coming. I got six sponge, one gold block. I did not use milk and I did not kill any guardian, uh, guardian bosses. 
So I'll see you there, and I'll see you wherever we'll meet again. Goodbye.